Hello and welcome. It's CW sitting down with PharmD and clinical director of the Beyond MD program, uh, part of a team here at the PharmD community, Laura Cudd, with me today. And wanted to sit down and talk about what should I, as a pharmacy owner, be thinking about, want to know that is in place for an organization. Say um, you're checking out our membership program mm -hmm. that asserts that we're going to be able to help you have a high rate of success in a clinical program development. Uh, but if you don't go with PharmD community, uh, what should I be thinking about? What are the components that need to be in place if I'm going to sign up and commit treasure and some time to another organization out there that might be saying, hey, I can help you start a clinical program and make sure. Uh, well, I I really go from start to finish with the programs. That's what Beyond MD and PharmD Community does, is really um, walk you through the entire program. And then we, as you stated before, we do the crawl, walk, run model so that we meet your particular needs and your schedule um, with implementing. Um, so the initial thing you need to make sure is there is somebody who's really going to look at your personal data and analyze your data to tell you what opportunities are there for you in your practice. Uh, once that's done, you need somebody who's really going to help you set up a clinical program that is specific for those patients that address and, the, and that clinical program has to include, 100% has to include documentation and an EMR that is going to be compliant with the CMS regulations and uh, requirements, as well as any of the other uh, insurance providers out there. And oh, by the way, you are billing to a medical uh, insurance company of some sort, so you're going to have to have contracts. You're going to need somebody who's going to help you get on contracts so you can bill and get paid. And oh, by the way, since you are billing, you're going to need somebody who's going to help you with the billing once you have the contract and the visits in place. So now that you've done your billing, you're going to have to have some reconciliation uh, uh, so that you can run down payments, run down the payments that you did or did not get, make sure that they're um, properly accounted for. And then there's going to be audits and, so, and then there's going to be appeals. And so you, you also need some support there. To, to deal with the audits and the appeals. Uh, in addition to that, you're, uh, you're gonna need some uh, communication technology for the patients, and also for the physicians, you're gonna need some communication technology to go with, to discuss and, and send your information to the physicians in a timely manner so that that doesn't become a big bottleneck. Uh, and then if you're gonna work with physicians, you'll you would probably want some assistance in how to set up the meetings, how to talk to the physicians, how to basically uh, collaborate with a physician in a mutually beneficial way. So that's quite a few elements. Um, I'm, I, have, I had been looking for some time before I uh, began working with uh, Beyond MD and, and really brought all this together with them, with their help. I, there's a lot of companies out there, but there, I do not believe anybody hits all of those exactly. Does that mean that you can't do it with another company? No. Does it mean you'll probably have to use more than one company? Yes. So if I don't have an electronic medical record in my pharmacy, I'm going to have to have one either acquired or mm -hmm. hopefully part of the program I sign up for that I can just join in and link Correct. in yeah. and begin to use. And you have to be careful. On all of these, there are requirements. Even the EMR has uh, meaningful use requirements that you have to meet if you're going to bill. So you may say, oh, well, I have an EMR. We're going to verify that it's the right EMR. Or, you know, and if it's not, we'll help, we'll provide you with one that is appropriate. How about the billing side of things? Do I need to secure a billing company, or you know, is a is a membership program like this going to? How will they be able to help me? Will they be kind of evaluating how billing is being conducted with the billing company? Talk about how I, I would normally manage that. Right. So the billing company is going to obviously conduct your billing, but in order to do that, they got to know your contracts, just like any of your switches in a pharmacy. They got to know your contracts to know who they can bill to and, and what it's going to look like. So contracts and billing go together. 
Um, the contracts uh, Beyond MD and, uh, with FarmView Community already has the contracts. And so you would be signing on to those contracts, which makes it a, com a very abbreviated process, uh, as opposed to going out and getting your own contract, which is a six to nine month process. If you even uh, are able to communicate in the right way and have the right setup, well, they'll give you one in the first place, which is a pretty big if. Uh, so that's, that's the first thing to remember, is you've got to have the contracts, and the contracts themselves do take some time if you're going to get your own contract for your own pharmacy. And just a pharmacy by itself is not going to get a contract for clinical services because the entity is not set up in the right way. PharmD community and Beyond MD is uh, set up as a uh, clinically the, the right way to meet the requirements of the insurance companies and CMS so that they will give us the contract for the billing codes we're going to use, right? When it relates to the billing side of things, is the billing going to be handled through it would be a member? Yes, it would be. I'm sorry, I, I didn't answer that part of it. So the billing would actually be handled 100% through uh, PharmD community and, and beyond MD. Okay. So you would not have to go get your own billing company. And so, you know, when you start to think about all the different things you need, it's really quite overwhelming. And so it's really a nice package that you can just kind of turnkey join in and uh, be functional in a re relatively minimal amount of time. Now, it does still take time, but it doesn't take six to nine months. It's, you know, much, much quicker than that. I know one of the benefits of the FarmD Community Program is the opportunity to have the FarmD Community team, mm -hmm. yourself included, mm -hmm. uh, be able to evaluate uh, patient waiver programs, uh, do you have one, do you need one based on medications you're frequently prescribing and the socioeconomic status of your patients. Obviously in the community out there, we talked about this a little bit uh, before we sat down today, that there is a perception that it's not really kosher to provide, but in fact, provided you're meeting certain requirements and Correct. doing it in a very specific way. Mm -hmm it's a very legitimate thing to offer and very obviously helpful for, for many patients that need this kind of program. And of course, clearly, if I don't have to give up what would otherwise be a pretty good paying prescription, um, it's a great thing to have. Talk about the, the, the patient waiver side of things. I don't, I'm not sure to the extent that the other programs out there um, provide support around this, but I get the sense that many independent pharmacies really are trying to solve this problem. Right, so the, the patient waiver program is, is separate than the clinical program. So the, the patient waiver program uh, does analyze a patient's financial needs and, uh, allow, and helps the pharmacy determine what their, guide, what their particular, um, what their requirements are gonna be. And because then you have to decide what, how a patient it qualifies and then it has to be 100% consistent and you know then there's documentation and so on and so forth and so we really lay that out for you uh, we also have all the information and the, um, the the computer set up so that you can collect the proper records be 100% compliance with the law to waive uh, any kind of uh, patient responsibility. And so that's, the, that's kind of the crux of the matter is our program is gonna help you understand, don't offer it to these people. Right. These are the people and the situations that fit into making sense for, for offering it. Because right. it's something that you only offer in an instance where, right. where a patient says, hey, I can't afford this prescription. Um, and it may not even be every prescription. It's certain ones and they have to be laid out in a certain way. Well, yeah, I mean, the way that the, the, the copay waiver program works is if a p patient qualifies uh, according to the guidelines you've set up, then you will have to waive all of their copays to, a certain, to whatever dollar amount that you have already determined. So you can't, for Mrs. Jones, if she qualifies, we would not say for some prescriptions we waive the copay and some prescriptions we don't. 
we would wind up having to waive them for all of the prescriptions I for see. Mrs. Jones. I see. Yeah. And so it's often the expensive ones that kind of prompt that discussion, but right. may not necessarily. It might be a big burden of prescriptions that mm -hmm. add up to a, a large amount. Right. So you do have to analyze the entire, uh, you know, profile of a patient. And, you know, you can set different uh, parameters. So maybe you say, okay, I'm only going to help with, I don't know, up to $50 copay per prescription or a total amount of $500 per patient or whatever. And then their income has to be, uh, you know, four times that of poverty. Uh, and how you're going to determine that, you're going to have to collect some financial records from the patient. So you have some, there is a, there's definitely a, a burden of proof out there that you're going to have to meet and you're going to have to maintain those documents. But it is legal, it is doable, it is, it is something you want to do in certain situations. Um, but it is, it is, you have to put some effort into it for sure. When it comes down to picking an organization, uh, an association, um, and in this case, PharmD community as a, as a choice, um, what would you say from the standpoint of the level of just human support mm -hmm. that I should be re able to reasonably expect? Where, you know, should I expect just uh, kind of some bullets laid out, do this, 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 and this, and mm -hmm. kind of go do it? Or how much, you know, can I reasonably expect it? Laura Cudd's gonna give me some advice. Sure, um, well, if you're not successful, PharmD community and Beyond MD is not successful. So we're really a shared uh, risk organization with you. Uh, so I will, uh, our, our, our company is set up to lead you through the process, not give you a documentation that you just follow, but lead you through it and guide you through it. The, the speed at which you make it through the process and then, and then the speed in which you develop your program, yeah, that's largely individual because there's a lot of work you need to do, but we will guide you through it, give you instructions, um, talk to you about how, how you're doing it, make sure you're doing it in a way that's um, efficient and legal and, and uh, really hold your hand the whole way through it. it. It really is designed to be a turnkey program, but there is still a lot of individual aspects to it that you know uh, a pharmacy owner would have to um, work, uh, provide and, and do the work for. So, uh, but at the same time, I mean, uh, you know, if you don't have a clinical pharmacist and you need us to help you uh, with one that is essentially um, an, like an agency pharmacist, mm -hmm. those, those options will be available. And then as, you, as your program grows and you want to swap them out for your person, that also is 100, you know, that is completely up to you. So. I got you. Mm -hmm. You have any final thoughts on considerations as it relates to an organization I might want to invest in as a resource to help me with my program execution? Well, you know, I just, I feel like this is a little bit of, an, of, a, of a, a wild west for pharmacists, you know, we've not really done a lot of this before. I've done a, a lot of clinical, but not necessarily um, had the opportunities that I have with Beyond MD and PharmD community. Um, so there, the development of the program is really important, and there's really nobody who's been doing it for years and years and years. There's, uh, there are people who've been doing clinical for years and years. I was one of them as well, and I did the incident two billing, and I worked within a system. Uh, now, for direct billing, that really is a, a, a more of a new uh, project. And so, uh, ask questions, uh, look at the history of the program, but understand that there's nobody who's going to come to you and say they've been doing it for 20 years because that's it's just not what's been going on in the industry. It's it's not really that's not really been what clinical pharmacy has been in uh, in the retail space. It hasn't really been there until recently, and the reason it's developing in the retail space now, even though we've been doing clinical, we haven't been doing it in the retail space because, quite honestly. Uh, we didn't have to, we didn't have the financial need for it, and we didn't have the pressures for, um, f 
for um, outcomes that we do now. So the whole, uh, we're go moving from fee to serve, fee for service to outcomes. So that's a that's a that's a pressure that's causing the development, but also the financial pressures in the pharmacy itself are changing, and so that's another uh, reason that it's developing now. I appreciate you sitting in with us today. If Laura's discussion today prompted some questions, hit us up in the contact us tab, get your questions answered. We will get back to you quickly. And if you're thinking about joining us in our Crawl Walk Run membership program, where we're gonna get you started, get your data assessed, like Laura talked about, talk to you about the opportunity that exists in your pharmacy and lay out a roadmap for you. Click the Get Started link on the page there and you can use the coupon code PharmDC uh, to get 20% off of your membership if you're uh, coming to us through the program today. We welcome you and like I say, get your questions answered if you need to and we look forward to catching up with you next time. We'll see you then.